and every hindering force that would try to stop the word of God from going forth today in the name of Jesus. And now, God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Because our hearts are tender and we're ready for you to speak. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. And amen. You can be seated. Normally, I would have you stand for the reading of the word of God. But there are some things that I need to pronounce today. As I stand here, and I need you to hear me very clearly, because the Lord began to speak to me this week. And I noticed something in the spirit, and now I speak now more as a prophet than I do as a pastor. And you have to be able to identify and discern the difference of the time, of the moment in which I'm speaking. I'm not speaking as a pastor in this moment right here. I'm speaking as a prophet of God. Uh -huh. The Lord began to share with me. He said, I, I began to see the people of God. In my prayer time this week, I began to see you, the saints of God, that especially those of you that are a part of Kingdom Life Church of Knoxville, but even uh, the body of Christ around the world. Now, there is some, some of what's happening to the body of Christ is because they've been out of alignment with the will of God. God. Uh -huh. When we get out of alignment with the will of God, then things are bound to happen. Right. And as Bishop said, it is imperative that we be very sure that we are anchored in the Lord. Amen. Now, I say that also in light of the fact that the Lord began to deal with me and tell me that the devil has been on the attack against the believers of this house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Lord said to me that the attack that has been coming against the believers of this house has been a very specific attack. If you pay attention, it has been because it has been hitting you in an intimate place. Oh, come on, please talk to me this morning. It has been hitting us in an intimate place. What do you mean an intimate place? It's hitting us in the places that are closest to our heart. Even if it comes down to sickness in your body, you know, some of our members have been down sick in their body, but the attack of the sickness has been because the enemy you're used to being able to get up and be on the move and the enemy wants to discourage you I heard God say even this morning he spoke it again to me about four o'clock this morning he said the enemy has been hitting you in the intimate place in an effort to get you discouraged Oh God, oh God, I wish I had a church right here. He's been hitting you in the intimate place to get you discouraged, to get you to feel like giving up. And let me just tell you something, and I need to encourage you right here. The real reason why the enemy has been hitting you the way he has is because, watch this, because you've been going the right direction. Yes, sir. Lord, I still ain't got the church I'm looking for here this morning. Somebody in here has made decisions. I'm going in the right direction. And because you've been taught, you've been getting on your Proverbs and you've been reading your Proverbs and you've been trying to apply your Proverbs, the devil said, I don't want them to get encouraged. I don't want them to start going in the right direction. So some of you, he hits your finances because you said, I'm going to put my budget together. I'm going to start working this thing and do what I'm supposed to do. Next thing you know, the bottom seems to fall out. I'm talking to somebody up in here because you've been trying to go the right direction. That's why you've been hit like this. I came to encourage you and tell you that's why you've been hit. Some of you, you've been hit in your emotions. I'm going to preach in just a second, but I need to drop this prophetic word on you right now. Some of you have been hit in your emotions. Oh, God. I guess the whole Nobody has talked to me, but I heard God. Some of you in your relationships, there has been trouble and there has been turmoil going on in the relationships around you. I'm not just talking about husbands and wife. I'm not just talking about I'm talking about every area of your life is subject to the hit of the enemy. Yeah. He's been hitting 
you in your emotions been stirring you in your emotions it might be between parent and child it might be friend to friend it might be husband to wife it might be whatever but the devil has been on the attack in your relationships and it has kept you in an emotional turmoil Jesus but I need you to know and here is the test. Uncle, if you give me a little bit more monitor. Here is the test of the day, saints of God. The Lord wants to know, can you endure your valley? That ain't my sermon, but can you endure your valley? Can you go through this season of struggling and still be encouraged? Thank you. That's good right there. Can you go through this season right here and say, I don't care what happens. I'm not giving up. You might have hit me. You might have knocked me down, but I'm still not giving up. Oh, who am I talking to up in here? Just let me know I'm talking to the right church. You can't stop me. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, I feel this in here today. You can't stop me. See, cause I done been, not good English, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I done been through way more than this. <laughs> I've been through way more than this, and I still made it through. So if I made it through way more than this, and I still made, it, what is this little thing you throwing at me? Oh Lord, I wish I had a church right there. I want to encourage you today because you're going to make it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Go make it. Do me a favor. Look at your neighbor real quick and say, You are going to make it. You are going to make it. Yes, you are. And it really does not matter what keeps coming. Because watch this. Let me just let me be very real with you. I wish I could tell you that it was going to end tomorrow. I wish I could tell you that this struggle that you're up against right now is going to end tomorrow. I wish I could tell you your body's going to be healed tomorrow. I wish I could tell you it'll be ending today. I can't tell everybody the same word. Some of you, it will be over tomorrow. But some of you will still have to walk through it tomorrow. I'm trying to get to my message but I got to prophesy to somebody I'm coming to tell I need to say to somebody if it doesn't end today if it doesn't end tomorrow if it doesn't end next week what are you going to do are you going to walk away from God are you going to walk away from the calling on your life are you going to walk away from life itself or are you going to keep standing and say for God I'll live and for God I'll die Y'all excuse me, but I feel it up in here this morning. What are you going to do? What you going to do? We're not trying to raise weak, jelly-back Christians around here. We got too many, Minister Lisa, we got too many of those running around right now. Too many weak, jelly-back, spineless Christians that give up at the least, at least sign of trouble. I've come to find out today that's the reason why you're going through because it has to be proven whether you're really a soldier or not. soldiers. God is looking to find out are there any soldiers in the place. God is looking to know are there any warriors in the place that no matter what comes and no matter what goes, I put on my uniform, I put this thing on and I'm ready to fight. I heard my bishop say something a while ago that blessed my life. He said I'd rather fight than switch. trying to behave in here this morning, but I'd rather fight than switch. I'm not changing sides. I'm not looking back. Listen, let me tell you something, somebody right here. It doesn't, listen, you got to understand, you have come too far to quit now. Y'all hear me this morning? It doesn't matter. Listen, 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 listen. If you quit now, everything you went through up to this point would be in vain. Yeah. 
it will be wasted if you quit now. Now, why would you go through all the hell that you have been through, all the hell of your past, all the hell that's got you here, and then get here and then quit? my message but I hear Romans 8 and 28 rising up in my spirit when you finally get to a point where you realize you can't quit because you'll be wasting all the stuff you've been through all of that it took all of that to get you here so when you get that in your heart you realize that all things are working together for your good Would you look at somebody real quick and say, neighbor, neighbor. it's working together for your good. Tell them, hang in there. Say, don't give up. Say, don't throw in the towel. Say, you're almost there. But Oh, wait a minute. Tell them this. Tell them, even though you don't see it, you already got the victory because you keep standing. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yes, yes. Lord. Y'all, I wish I could tell you how I feel this anointing on me this morning. I feel the anointing of God on me this morning in such a way I have not felt him in a long time. Come on, brother. Because God is trying to do something in us. And we got to be willing to submit and let him do it. Yeah. I'm talking right there. We've got to be willing to submit and let him do it. Part of the problem is, oh Jesus, I'm, I'm uh, part of the problem is we don't understand what God is doing. And because we don't understand what he's doing, it's hard for us to embrace what God is doing. Yeah. So we're struggling in our heart as to what we're going to do, whether we're going to really submit to the will of God. I'm coming to tell you the will of God is going to hurt some. Because watch this. Help me, Lord. Because the will of God requires that you be bent, that you be shaped, that you be formed, that you be moved. It requires some shifting in your life and that bending process to mold you into what he wants you to be. It never is comfortable. It's going to hurt. is can you trust him with your life can you trust him that if he grabs you up and starts bending you to listen the bible says it like this to be conformed to his will to be Stand may not like me bending it like that. But in order for me to use it, I gotta bend it and shape it. Wait a minute, because it started like this. use it, I got to conform it to my will. Are are y'all seeing what I'm trying to show you here? And conforming it to my will means I got to bend it just right to get it in position so I can use it. (laughs) See, to get it conformed to my will uh-huh. so I can use it. And wait, did y'all see what happened? When I started, it was all 
Yeah. Twist it up. When I started, it was all twisted up. But to conform it to my will, I had to bend it, I had to shape it, I had to pull on it, I had to adjust it, I had to align it until it got straightened out. What is all of this that's going on in your life about? God is trying to get you. Are you willing to let him do what he has to do to straighten you? <laughs> Somebody look toward heaven and say, Lord, straighten me out. Oh, God. Okay. I feel God in here today, y'all. Lord, straighten me out. Work in me until you get your will. Can I tell you something? You're not at your best until you're in the will of God. So, I gotta move. 